We just arrived here at one of the most beautiful cities on the Danube River, Ruse. It's incredible. It was found in the first century AD by the Romans, and here you can see over 300 historical buildings. It's an architectural gem. That is why it's been nicknamed Little Vienna. Right now, we're enjoying a beer here at Liberty Square, which is on Alexandrovska Street, which is a pedestrian-friendly street that is parallel to the Danube River. We're gonna spend about 48 hours here, now come along to the ride. Cheers. The weight of this bag represents 2,820 denati, which is what a Roman soldier would earn in one year. Ugh, it's really, really heavy. By the first century AD, the Romans had established many settlements along the Danube River. Ruse was one of those settlements. What you see behind me are the walls of the fortress of the Port of Sixty Ships, which is the name the Romans gave this city. Historians believe that the walls were 10 meters in height and 2 meters thick. A visit to the fortress is a great way to understand the history of the city and the reach of the Roman Empire. For those of you interested in Bulgarian national history, the Pantheon of National Heroes is a must-see. This national temple, mausoleum, contains the remains of 453 activists of the Bulgarian National Revival, many of whom were from Ruse. The people whose bones are housed here participated in helping Bulgaria become an independent state. Here are two dining options, one traditional and one historical with a fantastic winery. If you plan to stay a night or two, we recommend the three-star boutique hotel Vega. If you're considering traveling to Bulgaria and you're a fan of culture and architecture, then a stop in Ruse is a must. <laughs>